right, guys, it is Saturday night again, and it is time for an absolutely awesome movie night. Tonight, we are watching the new Barbie movie. I never thought that I would do this movie for a Saturday night snack and a movie. And if you are a dude and you are watching right now, do not cut out, because let me tell you, this movie is absolutely hilarious. Christmas is over, and they are stocking the shelves right now with tons and tons and tons of Valentine candy and Valentine blankets, and everything is pink and everything is hearts. So when it comes to movie night, that means that everything is Barbie. It is so easy right now to make an awesome Barbie-themed movie night. The stores are literally flooded with pink candy, pink hearts, pink baking supplies, pink blankets, pink everything. Now, I'm not a big Barbie fan. I've never played with a Barbie, but I am a huge 1980s toy fan. And everything about Barbie from the 1980s is so iconic. I have watched so many documentaries about 1980s toys, and at least three, four, maybe even five of them have been all about Barbie. That kind of stuff just absolutely fascinates me. Toys in the 1980s were unlike anything before it and anything after. And this movie captures everything perfectly. The set design in this movie is so absolutely mind-blowing. I had to pause it a million times just to sit there in wonder looking at all the background details. So as always, we have an awesome snack to go along with our movie, and tonight we are making one that I think is going to be so much fun. I always try to do something that ties into the movie we're watching, and in this movie, the only thing that Barbie ever eats, and she doesn't really eat it, you'll understand once you see the movie, is heart-shaped waffles. And being Valentine's Day, they just happen to have little heart-shaped waffle makers in the stores for 10 bucks. I bought one, and tonight, we are going to make heart-shaped strawberry fudge waffle ice cream sandwiches. It's going to be delicious. We'll be right back. Okay, so everything I'm going to show you that we're going to use to make these, I got at Target. Starting with this Dash mini waffle maker that is shaped like a heart. Right now these are $10 at Target. I'm not sure where else you can get them. Probably Amazon, probably even Walmart. I have that heating up right now already. As you can see if I open it here, it is shaped like a heart. You're going to need some kind of spray. I'm using avocado spray. It is a non-stick surface, but just a little added non-stick stick isn't going to hurt anything. You're going to need some Pillsbury cinnamon rolls, some kind of ice cream. Now, I wanted pink ice cream. The only one I could find was this non-dairy strawberry and fudge by Favorite Day, which is a brand that's sold at Target. Mmm, it smells good. It is pink. It'll do. Now, in the movie, she has a little dab of whipped cream on her waffle, so I got some whipped cream. Now, this is marshmallow flavored, and if you want to spruce it up a little bit more, we still have some of our little heart heart-shaped sprinkles left from when we made Grinch fudge, I believe it was. And if you watch that episode, and if you remember, we could not find these things. I had to go to a craft store to get them. But like I said, now that Valentine's Day is coming up, the stores are flooded with stuff like this. Now with that in mind also, if you didn't want to put out the money to buy one of these, you could simply go to Walmart or any grocery store and just buy a couple of heart-shaped cookies. So the first thing we're doing is warming up our waffle maker. We want it nice and hot for when it's time to put the cinnamon rolls in. To prepare the cinnamon rolls, we're gonna need some parchment paper. I've got two pieces of parchment paper, one for the bottom, one for the top. We're gonna open our roll of cinnamon rolls, pop it open, set your icing aside, and then we're just gonna set each of these out with a little bit of space in between them. Put the other piece of parchment on top of those, and you can either smash them down by hand, or you can use a rolling pin. 
Now, when you take the parchment off, you're going to have eight smashed cinnamon rolls, but that is not good enough yet. Our waffle maker is shaped like a heart. Now, I watched some videos online about doing this, not with a heart-shaped waffle maker, but even with a round one, if you just smash the cinnamon roll and put it in like that, it doesn't really work right. You end up losing a lot around the edge because it just kind of ekes out the edges. So the best thing for us to do is shape these like hearts before we even put them in the waffle maker. And the best way to do that is simply by tearing a little strip in it. This is gonna be the top of the heart right there. And then you just kind of work around it and shape it like a heart by hand. Do that with each of those. They don't have to be perfect, just so that they're in the basic shape of a heart. Because the next thing you're gonna do is set it right in there on top of the heart shape. Close this down. And you want to kind of smash it a little for a couple seconds. That way it pushes it into the shape there. Now each of these are only going to take a minute, minute and a half because they cook pretty quick. And you'll notice how about halfway through as it's cooking it has puffed up. So you want to just push that back down there and hold it for a second. That'll push all the air out of it because we want them flat since we're going to be making them into ice cream sandwiches. Plus that'll help them to come out looking much more like a heart than just a blob. So after it's been in there for a minute, you just pry it out with a fork. There's your heart. Set it over here to cool down. Grab the next one, stick it in, spread it out a little bit, and the same process. Now if you have some kitchen shears, this is the best time to go around the edge of that heart and cut off all the extra stuff just to give it more of that heart shape. And there we go. Now I tested these out this morning and made some of these for breakfast, and that's when I used the icing that comes with the cinnamon rolls. They were absolutely delicious. So now is when you have the option to do that if you want to. We are gonna make a bunch of these and then turn them into ice cream sandwiches. Okay, so we have all our hearts finished. The next thing we need to do is assemble these into an ice cream sandwich. Now I forgot to do what I was going to do, which is soften this, spread it out on a pan, and then freeze it in like a thin layer so I could cut out heart shapes. So this is gonna be interesting. What I'm gonna have to do is run some hot water around this so it'll loosen the ice cream up, take the ice cream out, and try to slice a piece so that I can cut that into a heart. Wow, I gotta say, I'm kind of impressed with myself. <laughs> look at that, guys. How awesome does that look? Strawberry fudge heart-shaped waffle ice cream sandwiches. Now we're ready to watch Barbie. All right, guys, if you make your very own, I want you to come over to the Facebook page, that Nate Guys and Gals, and post a picture of your creation for your movie night. If you like these episodes, make sure you subscribe, leave me a comment below and a thumbs up, and I will see you guys next Saturday.